I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and welcome to part two of my walk through the 2017 Integra Cornerstone. Now with me is Chuck Lasley, the Vice President of Sales at Integra Coach. Now, in case you missed our first segment and you want to know more about what Integra does without making it sound like a commercial, just click right down here or go to gadgetguru.com slash motorhome and you'll see it there. Now we're now inside the cornerstone. Now, how many different floor plans do you have for this model? Oh boy, I think we've got about five for the cornerstone, which okay. is our flagship. Yep. Now, as I look up and down your line, let's start. You have your new model, which is your entry level. What? Oh, as we talk about the different lines, so we yeah. start with, with our insignia, and then we move up the chain to Aspire, then Anthem, and then, of course, the cornerstone uh, is our flagship. Now, granted, there's a price difference. Your there high is. end is in the $600,000 range. Again, we're, I spoke about in a previous video. That's manufacturer suggested retail. Right. Work with your dealer. It's a lot less than that. <laughs> when you're entry level, what's, what's your a good jumping in point to get into an entire? All I can go by from a manufacturer really okay. is Again, the MSRP. You are yep, the manufacturer. Yep, yep. So I have to be careful there because the, the dealers do. Um, and of course, as a manufacturer, we think it's worth every penny that we that we have on there because we put a lot of hard work into yeah, it, right? He's good right? at what he does. A lot of hard work. Like these guys are one of the fastest growing <laughs> motorhome companies uh, today. But but you know they kind of start at the high, at the high twos with our insignia, okay. then that, move that, into the threes, into the fours, into the and then uh, of course the cornerstones just over the six. 600 MSRP mark. As so. you, you start at the insignia and yep. you move up, what sort of things are you getting? Is it a different chassis? I know there's yes. different yep. tires. Yep. To the consumer, I mean, without, you know, we, we had a conversation on camera about there's a lot of content online for people who know what they're doing and not a lot for people who don't. So for those of us who don't know what we're doing, as we look at your line, how should we view the four models? Well, price point is always the biggest part of that. Uh, when I'm at retail shows and I'm talking to customers and we're talking about this very same thing, uh, one of the things that they give, they talk about, is a wish list of things that they want in their coach. And so when I'm talking to a customer and I'm figuring out what things are really important to them, it helps me to guide them into what level of coach that they're after. For example, the insignia is not going to have something called IFS, independent front suspension. For some people, that is that you must have that. And mm -hmm. for others, it's not a big deal. And so, uh, so it's just really about the co consumer and exactly what they're looking for as far as it. It's also going to depend on whether a customer's had one before or not. I know that you're talking about getting your, your first and so there's a lot of questions that we that we end up answering for customers. I think at Integra Coach we really do uh, pay really close attention to the consumers uh, and answering their questions and being accessible to customers. For example, I have hundreds of, and I'm pointing to my back pocket because mm -hmm. my phone is you're in not, You're not but, pulling but, something out of it. No, no, no. <laughs> I no. didn't say anything yet. Okay. I'm pointing to that because okay. I have hundreds of retail customer contacts in my phone mm -hmm. because we do make ourselves uh, available to our retail customers because we want to be able to answer those kinds of questions. One thing that I alluded to in the opening of the first segment is that you know you guys are a fast growing company. You you've earned in a very short period, you've only been in business eight years, you know, under this name, a reputation for delivering high value or bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. You also are getting a pretty good reputation about customer service. Are, right. are you at this stage yet where you have enough customers that it warrants a 24-7 answer if mm. somebody has an urgent situation? <laughs> it's a, That's a really good question and I, I would like to say, just to back up for a minute, when I'm talking to new customers, it's really important to love the floor plan because that's really what people come in here mm -hmm. and decide first if they like the floor plan. But it's equally as important, to, and, and this is where you're really focused on, which I love to see, is that you're focused on the company that's backing the product. Yeah. And that's and that's really where we've been able to shine. And uh, in addition to beauty that you can see here in the coach, um, the company that's backing it, the two-year warranty that we have, and the accessibility to customer service and the way that we handle those issues through our customer service department. Do we have 24-hour service? That's a yes and a no question. Yes, we have opportunities from, from our normal business hours. Beyond the normal business hours, which I would say Eastern Standard Time would be five o'clock on, right? Mm -hmm. So from five o'clock till about 11, we have one of our customer service techs on call. Oh, this right? is overnight. So if you right. have an No, 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 oh. till 11 p.m. Okay. And then beyond 
beyond that, we have uh, we have a company called CoachNet, okay. uh, which which helps us out in dire situations. So now, if somebody has a situation. I can't change my Directv. Don't. That's not what this right, is Right, right, right. If you're stuck, you call CoachNet. But if you're having some if it's other after 11 p.m. Issues, yep, yep. Okay. Now, uh, what is a reasonable period? Again, I'm asking this for a, a newbie. Period, that, I'm just reading things on forms. I don't have first-hand information. And it's not just integral. It, it's a lot of coach manufacturers. Said, let's say I was to buy one. I'm going to personalize this. And then a month later, I have a punch. List. Well, I don't live in India, so I'm going to have to get it serviced by a dealer. Mm -hmm. What's a reasonable period when I call the dealer for them to get me in to address the issue? Well, there again, it's going to depend on what that issue is. If it's something that's going to prevent you from continuing on your journey, they're going to be much more quick uh, to if respond my air to you. Conditioner yep. died and it's a summer. Yep, yeah, yep. Okay. They're going to they're going to try to help you as soon as they can. Um, the dealer that sells you the coach is going to be your best friend, right? Mm -hmm. So. So when we talked earlier about buying mm -hmm. from from a dealer, that I always like to tell folks try to buy from your local dealer first, right? Because they're the ones that are going to give you the highest priority when it comes to servicing. Now we have, in addition to the the dealerships that we have for Integra Coach, we also have a family of Jayco dealers, 350 of them okay. that we can tap into. So depending so on the situation, yep. Depending you know, on people have some issues with slots, mm -hmm, yep. They could potentially come correct, in to do that. Correct. Correct. And if if we've exhausted every opportunity. A lot of times we actually we actually call in reinforcements from a mobile standpoint. So we'll have a mobile tech come out to you. I've had customers that have ended up um, ended up being stuck their 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 tag axle and their back wheels got stuck in a big mud mm -hmm. uh, heap in the middle of a. They were at a horse show, mm -hmm. and um, and so they called. They should have called the the coach net first, but they called us, and we were able to help them get that situation under control. But really, there's not too many circumstances where we can't get somebody to you in, in, in rather now, a quick order. I, I know some manufacturers. In fact, some right here in your home state. They allow mm -hmm. that even if you buy it from a dealer, which mm -hmm. of course you do in your case, that you can do a delivery to the manufacturer. Do you offer that? We don't. We do not offer that. And, and primarily the reason why we do not is because we really feel like the tie between the dealer and the customer is really, really important. And now, so, now, yep. I, I'm not going to say names. So I don't yep. want to interrupt you, but it's okay. And again, it's the importance of getting to know your dealer. I yep. read the forms, and there are there's a dealer or two out there that are tarnishing your brain because they say, I did my walkthrough, and this guy didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. But when I was on the tour yesterday, I saw another dealer here who was going to take a refresher class. She happened to be in town for something else. That was refreshing to yeah. see. Do you have requirements that, that anybody that is selling your coach on the floor, that they have to take some level of education so they know what they're selling? It's not It's not absolutely required. We're looking into um, opportunities for certification. Every dealer, because we're not in a franchise situation, mm -hmm. right, runs their businesses the way that they feel is best for them. Uh, so and and we, I understand they are your customers. They are customers, that's customer. right. Yeah. And so what we do though is we have a team of regional sales managers out there on a regular basis training at the dealership level. And then also we offer something called Integra Coach Academy where we invite all of our dealers to bring their retail sales staff to Integra Coach here to be able to do those refresher courses or in some cases to even learn the product if they've got new personnel on staff. Do the dealers have the ability, if you see a floor plan that mm -hmm. almost works for you, Mm -hmm. to be able, even if it's a paid service, to be able to make some sort of modifications? So it depends on the dealer. Some dealers are more uh, equipped to be able to make those kinds of retrofits than others. So, so that would have to be done at dealer level. That would they be done at dealer level. When it comes off your line, if it's on a floor plane, it doesn't come off that way. I mean, Correct. Just, and Correct. I understand, I mean, when you, it, it, as I said before, when you go to see the tour, you operate like a well oiled machine. It is a combination of human labor, which is a slight hint of, and then I won't say full automation, but semi automation that mm -hmm. assists humans of putting these things together. Mm -hmm. It's not a robot factory, but you do have some good assistance in there, right. which is impressive. Okay, let's get to this, coach. We've yep. been going all around. The cornerstone is your flagship. Right. You know, I'm looking around. What's the floor plan that we're in right here? So right now we're in something called a 45B floor plan. It's mm -hmm. a bath and a half, which has really been the trend. So we make a few floor plans with a single bath, but 
over the past several years, it's been a bath and a half that's really been uh, tripping people's triggers. So mm -hmm. yep. now I'm looking. What, what do, you, do you call this? Call this an L-shaped lounge okay. right here. So it's an expandable couch. So basically, we're now set up as if we were going to camp right now. And so the slides are out, as you can see. Uh, we've got the expandable sofa out. Now I'm going to do something that you're yep. probably not going to see in any other motorhome video. Yep. You either see these with them in or out. Mm -hmm. Can you show me how this goes in? Oh, sure. Can yeah. we do that? Yeah, piece of cake. I'm going to highlight that. Nice here, we're going to take yep. it. Remember, the back <laughs> is to the camera here. Oh, we yes. Block it. I, I'm so, and, I, and it's hard for me okay. not to block you. Sorry. Okay. So I'm just going to take. you got plenty of room here. This is a big coach. <laughs> right. Okay. I hope you don't. You know, we didn't scope no. this. So I'm no, kind of no, no. catching them. Nope. Okay, that's nice. So this stores underneath. So it's light enough really to be able to pull up and out. Okay. And then really I'm just going to push this right in there like this. That's nice. That's so it. So you have one TV here and mm -hmm. one here. For livability, I'm just going to set this down here. Sure. If I want to kick back and watch TV. Now, yep. I'm going to, this is a sole coach. I don't want to put my feet Thank up. you. But if yeah. I was, I could sit back here. That would be my entertainment. Yep. No recliners in this model. This is so we have foot rests, but not a recliner. Yep. Okay. So in that in that spot right over there, and then also if you swivel both of the captain's chairs around, those have power foot rests and loungers in those. Does so that fully recline it, as well? It can. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that TV, will that swivel so that can? That be will not. As okay. I mentioned before, we're kind of a, a driving earthquake here, so there are certain precautions that we have to take so that we don't have TVs falling over. There's a very heavy duty bracket behind that TV to keep it in place. Okay. Here you have your. And I guess your, your table and chairs. I know it right. moves out. It can be a computer workstation. Right. You have an area there for a, a keyboard. It's, it, it's a nice configuration. You see it on a lot of coaches. How popular is this versus the cushion dinette? What, what's more popular? These well, days? this floor plan is actually our, our leading floor plan at the moment. Did so you repeat which one is this? 45B. Okay, thank in the Cornerstone, we have it in the Anthem as a 44B, and in our Aspire as a 40, uh, as a, also a 44B, and then it'll also be available in the Insignia. So. Now, I assume that the reason you, that there's no dinette here is because it would block the refrigerator door. Correct. That, that yep. would be it's one just, that you know, way. in the RV industry, you're really talking in in really small inch parameters, yeah. right? That we're trying to squeeze as much luxury as we can into a coach. And so we have to be really mindful of the, even the quarter inches that we're, that we're taking you know, to do things. I'm glad you said that because in, in the, the pre-recorded portion of the video that I did when the slides were in, I pointed out that on your halfback, you don't play this little silly pivot gate, a pivot door game. You can open the door and walk in, yep, you yep. know, without it hitting. Great, you have about that much clear sure. without, without it hitting it. That, so when you say it's a game of inches, it is. It it's really, a, really is. Now, in your gallery, I know you have a lot of nice mm -hmm. underlighting. You know, oh, yes. I'm going to jump around here this way with you. And I don't know if they pulled this out for you before, too, to give yeah. you the maximum amount of counter space. We're using quartz countertops here. I got to this is nice. Yep. This does not look like the plasticky type of stuff that you right. see in, in some, I would call those RVs, not motorhomes. Gotcha. Now on this, what are you doing to keep this thing from, uh, from shaking around? You know, as, as we said, this could be like an earth moving earth. Right, right. So that island noise. actually, or peninsula, whatever you want to call it, actually locks into place once it's in. Okay. So, so we've, we balanced it really nicely so that it's, and I don't know if you heard that lock yeah, when I, I pushed did. it into and place. This, so that's going to prevent it. This it. takes yep. some force. Okay. Yeah, this is, if this is coming out, you really, you, know, you, you shouldn't be driving on that's that That's right. You're four bad. by fouring and, okay. and we need to not do that. Yes. It was funny. I was watching, uh, uh, you know, I've been watching too many videos <laughs> and I, I saw, I just, I don't know why I'm telling this. I saw one guy talking about, hey, look at this residential refrigerator. It's not one of those Korean jobs. It's a Samsung. <laughs> what does that guy think Samsung is? <laughs> yes, yes. Samsung is a great brand. Don't get me wrong. I just found that is funny. Yes, anyway. yep, yep. But anyway, as we move back here now, I know with, uh, we can't get the cameras in. I did point out that when the slides are in, you, uh, you can't walk around a bit. But you know, be, you you have to step over. Correct. But when it's open, you have plenty of room. Oh yes. And again, I I don't know if we can get the shot here. I'll probably move the camera on later and get to it. But that's why you have to have a bath. Now, anything else that we should know? Now, I know you're using the induction, and this is a variable temperature induction. It's correct. not just the type that's on or off. Correct. Correct. And so yeah, yeah. A lot of folks are telling me customers that are actually using the coach tell me that it's. It's almost, and I use that word very particularly, almost as um, 
as good as what gas is uh, and controllable and, and the way that you can change the temperature up and down. Mm -hmm. So it's almost as responsive as gas, uh, but folks like it. They like the ease to clean it. Uh, they like the safety that it, it, that I, I it like has. I the safety factor, mm -hmm. but the reason I say that I've seen some of the induction ovens that, um, you know, and again, I don't want to say they're cheaper, but they probably are, that how they get to a simmer or to a medium, it goes, it's like, the defrost cycle on a microwave. It goes on, then off, and yeah. on and off. Right. That, mu that a good one, and a, a feature that I would look for, and I don't know which feature you use, maybe I'm in, I hope I'm not insulting you. No, no. That it actually has levels right. of intensity that yes. it, it turns on. Now, let's talk about styling for a minute. So, this is one thing that I'm seeing throughout the Integra line. It's a very traditional Very traditional, design. yep. Are you starting to see a demand for a little bit more transitional, not Hardcore contemporary transition. Uh, you know, we're we're not. We're very one of the things that we're pretty proud of. The fact is, is that whenever we have a a tender rally, mm -hmm. um, an RV rally, whether that's a good Sam rally, whether that's a uh, family motor coaching association rally, where we have a big concentration of owners, we'll bring them together and we'll have what we call a suggestion session. Mm -hmm. We'll bring them together. They're the users, right? They're using them. But those a are people lot. who have already bought. How about the people who haven't? Any, yet? any, anybody that wants to attend that can. But the primary purpose behind having that is, and there's a lot of first timers in there that have bought granite, but but they are using it day in and day out, and so they have suggestions for us. Okay, so, so let's do this. Yep. We're on the internet. You, wherever you're watching this video, if, and again, I, I don't wanna say if you don't like it, this is a gorgeous coach, Thank so you. don't come here. Yep. But if you think that maybe there should be an option that has some cabinetry, because you know, mm -hmm. to change style, it's just basically the cabinetry and, and you know, the, the front. Mm -hmm. If you think maybe you'd like to see some more transitional, Po you know, put a post down there. I mean, let's be nice, because I gotta tell you, I could live like this very easily, so don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I look at this type of fabric wall, and that's starting to get more to a transitional. And I'm no decorator, trust me. My decorator will tell you I'm no decorator. Sure, sure. You, you have to be careful, because <laughs> when we talked about inches, you're also talking about weight factors. Okay. And so a lot of the things, like I had a customer say, I just redid my kitchen, I put in this gorgeous tile, and I have a whole bunch left over. If I give that to you, will yeah. you put that in my coach? I'd love just to say, say yes. Just say there's a $50,000 uh, yeah. <laughs> surcharge and see how I'd love to that. say yes, but the truth of the matter is, is that everything that we put into a coach goes through vigorous testing to make you sure know, that it's gonna just as work. I'm getting ready to let you off the hook you yes. brought up floor, so I'm gonna go that that's okay go this ahead. is a gorgeous towel floor. yes and I went through and this is real porcelain floor this yep. is not plastic or no or whatever it is however in your insignia mm -hmm. you're using that wood like look porcelain that is then in my mind yep. that's what I have my home it's a higher end look sure but this is, you can't put that floor in this coach. Correct. That's, that's correct. one size fits all. That is. Okay. You know, we, we have, and part of the reason why you talk about the biggest bang for your buck is the fact that we gain some efficiencies. I get it. Yeah. No, I, so I we're So I would call us more sem semi-custom rather than custom, uh, because to get custom, you've got to go to the Newell folks. Uh, you've got to go to the big million dollar coach builders. And, I, I, and so, I, I think custom starts with some Ford travel model. Yes. Yep. And then yep. you go Ford travel, yep. no, and, and Prevo. But I get it. And again, with this whole thing is about, I'm so impressed by what you get for your dollar. I spent some time behind the seat. If you want to see that segment, because today we're not going to talk about the adaptive cruise control in the blind spot. Model. I have a whole segment on it. Just click right down here. Here's the link. Take a look at it later. Um, you're really doing a good job on that. Now, I know that I'm eating up on your time. That's we go back here. A lot of people make a big deal about, oh, our bathrooms, you don't have to step up. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal about that? <laughs> right. You know, okay, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm going to move this camera around over here so we can show what I'm sure. talking about. Yeah. Okay, like magic, <laughs> we are. just moved <laughs> from the gallery back in. As I was saying, yep. I just see, oh, buy our coach. It's a lot more money, but guess what? You don't have to step up. Sure. You have lights down here. Yep. It's not a big deal. In fact, I look taller back here. <laughs> it's the big deal that they think that the ceiling height is too low, that for people that are six and a half feet tall, that that might be an issue? That That is something. I rarely get uh, people that complain about the step um, going in here, because what this translates to really is more access to the engine. What so. I'm saying is, I'm not seeing the users complain. Oh, I'm okay. saying manufacturers tout. Oh, gotcha. So, oh, look, gotcha. you don't have to. It's not a big it's deal. It's not In a fact, big deal. You know, they used to have sunken living rooms, so you have a raised 
bedroom. Now, granted, Correct. just to give you a reference, I'm six and a half feet tall. You know, somebody who, excuse me, five and a half feet tall. I didn't grow a foot there. <laughs> right, five right. and a half feet tall. I've never been asked to play basketball. But here, you know, it's got a poly. I just noticed this is a fabric yeah. or soft. A, a soft. Yep. Uh, um, 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 thank you. See, I forgot that word. So, <laughs> okay. But anyway, you, this is, the styling back here is very nice. It's very clean. You are, how do you like to transition into sound bars instead of fixed speakers? So for us, we, we really like to minimize the amount of clutter. And so when you start to get into these satellite receivers and satellite speakers, you're just clouding up all that ceiling space. We'd rather leave, leave the ceiling for what it was intended for, which is a beautiful ceiling fan, or some of our ventings for, for our air conditioning. for air conditioning and heating, right? So that's that's what we like to do that. Plus, plus the Bose sound bars that we're using. We're using the solo system in the bedroom here, and we've got the full system in the in the living room area. Does as good, if not better, job than the satellites. Well, do. I have Hey, I know you haven't. You have better things to do than to watch my <laughs> motorhome videos. But I did a segment on why the man, some manufacturers have been slow to go to ceiling speakers, especially in a room where you have multiple TVs. Mm -hmm. That you know, surround sound means that the voice is coming from your TV, your music right. coming from your side. I mean, this is my gadget guru background. Sure, sure. And I'm on a coach, and one coach I'm looking at, and here's the TV, but the voices are coming over here. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, a simple sound bar. Mm -hmm would be a much simpler solution. It's right. going to be a lower cost. And if it ever breaks, it's so much easier to just diagnose, Amen. repair, throw it out, and get yep. another one. So yep. I'm glad to see you doing that. OK, back here, I just yep. want to point out the ceilings. And I have some B-roll I can I mean, ceilings, the closets. Yep. OK, I'm going to demo. <laughs> OK. OK. It's, I mean, you have plenty of room. I'm not trying to do a circus act here. But look, <laughs> this thing is deep here. They are cedar lined. You have a double over here, and you have the stack washer dryer back here. Very clean sink. It's, um, I haven't been a fan of some of these big bowl sinks mm -hmm, because the they eat sinks. up too much counter space. Yeah. And other than that, I, 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 again, I'm gonna stick by my gun and say that you just have an excellent value in a coach. I've had a pleasure being here at your factory oh. and thank you for allowing me to do this. Let me underline, he's not paying me a nickel to be here True whatsoever. Enough not reimbursing any expenses. I'm here because I wanted to learn more about this company. I like Rose Reading a lot. Any questions for me? Oh gosh, no. No, we're just, we're, we're glad to have you and, and hope that you learn something. Hope that you uh, get around to making a decision as to which coach and we hope that it's Integra. Okay, well I didn't say that. <laughs> Considering the gadget crew background, the technology you've included on, on board, you've made my decision very, very complicated. Good. And so I'll have to sit down and figure out which dealer I need to go from there. I hope so. Thank you so much. Pleasure, you, you got it. Okay, for more information, don't forget you can go to integracoach.com Click on dealers. If you fill out the little application there, you don't ask for much information, you'll get a listing of your of the dealers that are most convenient to you. Call around, you'll I'm sure you'll find somebody that's a pleasure to work with. And again, some of the dealers that I've met so far have just been very, very nice and very well informed. That that speaks very highly of the manufacturer. Okay, to keep posted of, of my new post, just go to facebook.com slash the gadget guru and like us. Don't forget, every time I do a video, and even times when I don't do a video, I'll do an accompanying blog post that'll tell you the story behind the story. On For my motorhome topics, just go to gadgetguru.com slash motorhome. And since I'm having a hard time talking, I've been talking to Michelle, I'll put it right there in there for this guy. And again, let me thank you. Oh, you got it. Yep, you That's got it. it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Park.